Hello AT Pros, welcome back to my AT Workshop. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows uh, in a different way. So perhaps for you it's going to be faster. This works better for small companies or when you have not that many devices, let's say between 2 and 10 or perhaps 12. Um, bigger than that, uh, it's not going to work very well. So let's go to the scenario. I have these three Dell computers, well, they are laptops. They are Inspiro. They belong to the family Inspiro. However, this doesn't work only for Dell. It works for HP, for Toshiba, for Lenovo, or the computers that you have built yourself. They don't necessarily need to be laptops. They can be desktops as well. But Dell is what I have available. So the model for they belong to the Inspiro family, but they have different models, as you can see here. One has 3537, the other 3121, and the other is the same as the, as the first one. So I'm going to grab one of these computers, I just chose them, chose it randomly, and uh, I have already installed Windows 10 Pro, but it doesn't have to be Pro, it has to be 10 Home, Windows 8, or Windows 7. Um, now, uh, I have also installed the basic software for a regular person like Google Chrome, 7-Zip, Codex for Video, PDF readers. You can install other software as well. Uh, after that, I'm going to clone this operating system, this hard drive, to my SSD. I'm going to, since I need two more computers, I'm going to use two SSD. After I have done that, I'm going to put this computer to uh, this computer, this uh, SSD to the lab, to the two other laptops, and it's going to work. So without further ado, Let's start. So here we are in the first computer that has everything. Let's say this is the, um, the model computer. And as you can see on the, top, on the bottom right, it says activate Windows. Go to settings to activate it. So that's to, to the fact that this computer will be um, joined to the domain in the future after I, have, I, after I finish doing all this process. And, the, and it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be given a license because we use something called uh, Microsoft Volume License, so which activates your your Windows in, in the company that you're working or or your environment. So this is like a, uh, like a service from it's a service from Microsoft. So here we are the 2P and Y that we're going to be cloning. I mean cloning two. So you're also going to need uh, this cable, which is a USB to SATA. And I'm going to leave the link in the description below to uh, in the link uh, the link in the description below to Amazon. So the next thing we need is the, um, this piece of software is is the US total backup application, which is a free version. Well, it has a free version and a paid version. I'm, I'm going to use the free version as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So once you install this, you just need to leave your email. It doesn't have to be your real email, but you're going to see this. And it's very easy to use, very intuitive. So far we have been working with Acronis, which is really good, but this one is not bad either. Now we are going to open a CMD, which, you, which I should have done at the beginning. And I'm going to type system info. As you can see, the name of the computer is at random. I didn't name it that way. It's Windows 10 Pro. And here we have system model, Inspiron 3537. And if you, if you look a little down to the BIOS version, it says A07. So it's going to be different in the next, in the next laptop. So that's just for reference to prove to you that this is a Dell computer, a Dell laptop. And now I'm going to create, um, uh, this is not necessary, but I'm going to create a, a, a text document that says main computer. So this same document is going to be in the other two computer as well, because we're going to clone this operating system. So now I'm going to choose, I'm going to go to the uh, kind of the bottom of this, uh, of the menu where there are two squares, one in front of the other. And here I choose, uh, I forgot, I have to connect. <laughs> the hard drive of the SSD to my to the laptop obviously. So these are the this is on the hard drive I have on this machine. So I'm going to choose both. And it says no available target uh, disk for clone. So for some reason I'm not recognizing the uh, my hard drive. So I'm just going to close the application and going to open it up again. So I go to the same place, I choose these two and now I can see it, 120 gigabytes. So I'm going to select it because this is my, my destination and it's the only one we have available. So we are going to click on, on next so we can proceed with the process. 
Now uh, we see the source, which is, which is disk, disk 0 and the target, disk 1. So are they are the same size, so there's no problem there. Uh, I'm just going to continue. So this process is going to take about 20 minutes. I'm going to pause the video and come back when this has finished. Here we are back again. So it took around 24 minutes. And the only thing I have to do is click finish and I'm going to close this. I don't need it. And I'm going to disconnect my, my SSD. And um, since I, I need to do it again, I'm going to connect the second SSD to this computer. Now I connect it and I just decided to close all the application because perhaps it's going to give me the same error, which it doesn't recognize the hard drive. Now I am going to do exactly the same. I go to that icon, I select the source, I select the destination, and I'm going to click next. Same, same thing as before, I'm going to click on process. Same thing, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. And here we are back. It took 24 minutes as well. And I'm going just to, uh, to click finish because we don't have anything else to do on this computer since I haven't installed the, uh, the antivirus here because there is going to be a problem with the licenses. So that might give you a problem. So don't do it. So I just shut down the computer. I don't need it anymore. I have the two PMYs with the clone operate, the cloned operating system that we're going to install on the two other laptops. So um, let's start. So I'm sorry, I'm going to adjust my camera a little. So this is the second laptop. So I, I have it ready. Uh, I have it ready. So I just need to put the hard drive in. Put it away. As you can as you can notice, the video is a little accelerated, so you don't have to wait all the time that it really took me to do this. So I'm going to put back. I'm going to put back the screws. And after that, I'm going to put back the cover. So I'm going to adjust it tightly. And I'm going to turn it over. And we're going to start. So I connect it to the power supply. And open it and let's turn it on. I'm going to turn, on, turn off the light so you can see it better. And it didn't work the first time for some reason. So I'm going to click to press the power button one more time. So here you are, the, the, the logo. Um, I didn't know about this. The battery is not working correctly. So after this, I'm going to have to replace it. So getting device ready, as you can see, uh, the percentage is going up. So since this is the first time, it's let's put it this, this way, sensing this new hard drive and the operating system, it has to do some adjustment. So here I have the second SSD. So this took around two minutes, something like that, and the system has rebooted itself. I didn't do anything. So I'm going to log in to this computer, which is, I have this user, I have created this user, this computer. And if you notice, the resolution is uh, a little awkward. So I'm not sure if you can notice it, but I'm going to show you in a few seconds. And you don't see the, um, and you see the, the test document that we have created in the other computer. And I'm going to open a CMD. So run as administrator and system info. And we're going to run this command. And here we are, the, the name is the same, Windows 10 Pro, Inspiron, that, but this is a little different, 3521. So it's a, it's an Inspiron, but a slightly different model. And if you see on the BIOS version, it's 812. So it, you can tell that it's an Inspiron, but it's a different model because it has a different BIOS version. One more thing to note is very quickly, um, you don't see here the, um, the activate windows because uh, it's going to show up, not in this video, but it's going to show up eventually after I restart it or I keep it on for a few, for a few more hours. So I'll keep that in mind. So it's not like, it's not like this is a, uh, this is another physical laptop, but it's, uh, it's going to show up the activate windows later. Not in this video again.
So I just decided to restart the computer so to see if that problem with the resolution is going to be fixed. I know it's going to be fixed, but I just wanted to show you that those are some proce procedures that I follow. And the reason for that is uh, Windows needs a few, a few, some, some time to recover from this. Now I'm going to connect it to the internet and try to update it. So I click, uh, I'm going to type update, check for updates, but they, it doesn't really have to do with this. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's looking for updates, but this is going to take some minutes or more than that. So while this is going on, I'm going to work on the third, con on the third laptop. And while I'm doing that, this computer is going to come back to uh, it's going to automatically fix to the to the correct resolution. So here we are in the third laptop. So it's the same process. I already have I have it ready, so I don't have to take as much time. And I'm putting back the screws on the on the hard, on the SSD. Um, putting back the cover. Here we have. And I noticed that I didn't do anything. I just waited for it and the resolution came back again so this is the correct resolution for this kind of, uh, of laptops it's not um, 4k or something <laughs> it's just a regular resolution i'm going to show you so i go to display settings and as you can see i have the right resolution and now i can modify the brightness which i couldn't a few seconds ago in the video so you just have to wait that's pretty much it you just have to wait for it restart it or We'll just wait. So I don't need this computer anymore. I'm going to shut it down because we have finished with this. And here we are with the third lap with the third laptop. I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see it better. I'm going to start the computer. Um, as you notice, it's not it's, um, there is no percentage here. It just came through to the login screen. So that those are some kind of similarities or problems that you may have with uh, with different slightly different models so here we are and this is already connected to the internet so i did to the network i didn't do anything so we check the test we open a command prompt as administrator we're going to run the same command system info and here we have it the name is the same inspiron 3537, which is exactly the same as the first one, and the BIOS version is also the same, A07. Um, so I'm going to check the, the battery now, and the battery is connected. I didn't have any error like the second laptop, but it's telling me that it's not charging. And this one, this was not the case with the first one. The first one was working just fine. This one is not, it's connected, but it's not charging. So that's odd. I had to check that. Uh, I have to check that later. So I don't have to do anything else on this computer because everything is working fine. So that's um, that's how you do it. That's another way of installing Windows in many computers. So you just clone it and you put it. So you don't have to do it one by one. And the users and software is, is already there. So as you can see here, the three uh, Dell laptops. So that's what I wanted to show you here, guys. Um, this is another way to install in Windows if you have a small company or you work for a small company. Uh, you, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any question or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do so by smashing that uh, subscribe button and that bell for future notifications. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.